the Viking experiments found that the Martian soil is not loaded with organic remains of once living creatures. Maybe the reactive chemistry of the surface has destroyed organic molecules, molecules based on carbon. Or maybe there's no life on Mars and all Viking found was a funny soil chemistry. Or maybe there's life okay, but it's not based on organic chemistry as much as life is on Earth. Personally, I don't think that's a very likely possibility. I'm a carbon chauvinist, I freely admit it. Carbon is tremendously abundant in the cosmos and it makes marvelously complex organic molecules that are terrifically good for life. I'm also a water chauvinist. It's an ideal solvent for organic molecules and it stays liquid over a very wide range of temperatures. But sometimes I wonder, could my fondness for these materials have anything to do with the fact that I'm chiefly made up of them? Are we carbon and water based because these materials were abundant on the early earth at the time of the origin of life? Might life elsewhere be based on different stuff? I'm a collection of organic molecules called Carl Sagan. It's a collection of almost identical molecules with a different collective label. But is that all? Is there nothing in here but molecules? Some people find that idea somehow demeaning to human dignity. But for myself, I find it elevating and exhilarating to discover that we live in a universe which permits the evolution of molecular machines as intricate and subtle as we. The essence of life is not so much the atoms and small molecules that go into us as the way, the ordering, the way those molecules are put together. Now, we sometimes read that the chemicals which make up a human body are worth on the open market, only 97 cents or $10 or some number like that. And it's depressing to find our bodies valued at so little. These estimates are for humans reduced to our simplest possible components. 